Hello, my name is Jared Oluwes. I am a doctoral student here at Auckland University. The title of my research is a simulation study of impact of collaborative one polar charts and mobile adult networks. The co-authors of this paper are Akid Yona, Bao Tri Chan, Dr. Hiram Fu, and Dr. V. My colleague George Koch, I will present this paper at the InfoTech conference in Georgia on October 12, 2018. Let's look at the outline. What are we going to talk about today? Number one is, what are mobile ad hoc networks managed? Number two, what are collaborative warm polar charts? And how do these attacks impact manner? And the performance metrics we are going to use are throughput and packet overhead. Then we talk about our simulation parameters, then the results and conclusion. So essentially, what are manners? Manners are mobile ad hoc networks. They do not require any physical infrastructure to connect. So the node can join the network and they can leave at any time. Their infrastructure is very easy to deploy and they are very popular among the military and they may also be used in emergency responses like earthquakes and tornadoes. And because nodes can join and leave the network at any time, this also presents challenges because unwanted nodes or untrusted nodes can join the network and get information that they are not supposed to get. So we have to be very careful when we are deploying money. So what are one polar attacks? One polar attacks are kinds of attacks in a mobile ad hoc network where the nodes join a link in a network between one or two nodes. They get data from these two nodes that they are not supposed to get. As you can see from this graph, when you look at point A and B, there's a warm hole link there. When you look at point E and F, for example, point G and S, point C and D, those are warm hole links. They cut across nodes that are sending data and packets from one point to the other. So potentially, this warm hole attack or this warm hole node can congest the network or they can even lead to denial of service attack or they can get information, probably privileged information, that they were not entitled to get. So what are the performance metrics that we, are, we have used to, to study the impacts of wormhole attacks? One, we have used throughput. And throughput in this case means the amount of packets, the amount of data that are being transmitted from point A to point B or from link A to link B. Packet overhead here refers to the amount of time it takes to transmit packets. So if you're transmitting packets from point A to point B, how long is it going to take? What were our parameters that we used? We ran our simulation on NS version 2.35. We ran it on Ubuntu version 11.4. We used AOD, which is ad hoc on demand vector protocol. In this protocol, the routes are used only when they have to be used. We ran our simulation on random waypoint mobility. We set our simulation time to 500 seconds. We used the constant bit to track it. And initially, we had 20 nodes. And then we increased the nodes by 10 until we reached 60 nodes. So every time we increased the nodes, we were collecting results. And then we got their average. And then we ran our simulation without one pole nodes. And then later on, we introduced four one pole nodes that were channeling data from one point to the other. Our terrain was 750 by 750 meters squared. So here is a snapshot of our results and our conclusion. When we run our simulation without one pole node, which is represented by the red link, we saw that the throughput was increasing as we added more nodes to the network. And then when we introduced one pole node, the four one pole nodes in our network, we saw that the throughput was not as high as when we had no one pole node. So this result makes us to conclude that one pole nodes affect manage by decreasing the throughput. Secondly, we ran our simulation to calculate overhead. How long does it take to transfer packets from one point to the other? When we did not have one pole node, the time it took to transfer packets was relatively shorter than when we introduced one pole node. 
you can see this from the graph itself. One possibility could be that when we introduce one cell mode, the amount of packet pop, the distance it now takes to transfer packet, increases because this one cell mode will try to channel data from the desired destination. But this is still subject to further investigation, further research. But the big picture here is that we think we have made a significant contribution by showing that one cell nodes reduce the throughput and they increase the packet overhead. They increase the amount of time it takes to transfer packets from one point to the other. Thank you very much.